When we get to know the bright stability of our mind, then we discover that we have a, a courage and a fearlessness in life, an ability to really experience everything from a place of, of complete openness, because that is actually the nature of our mind. Our mind is already wide open, clear, like a clear sky, doesn't have a boundary or an edge. Our intelligence is naturally on, we can't turn it off. And the more intimately we get to know the nature of our mind, then the more powerfully we're able to align with the actual nature of reality, which is just pure benefit. And um, for most of us, the way that we've been trained to use our mind is to focus in on all of the descriptions. Um, so we can just simply call those data or streams of data, data streams. And we've trained to focus in on our thoughts, emotions and sensations. And that training in focusing in on the descriptions that we have of what's going on in our experience mean that for most of us, for most of the time, we ignore the actual basis for our experience, the intelligence within which everything is occurring, within which everything is known. So it's like um, looking up at the night sky and only seeing the points of light up in the sky and completely ignoring or forgetting that there is this vastness of expanse, this vastness of sky that includes all of those little points of light. And so what we're getting to know here is this vastness of mind, this vastness of mind that includes all of our experience, that is, and yet is completely untouched and unaffected by any of these passing appearances. And the more profoundly and the more instinctively we recognize that in the direct encounter with all of our experience, with all of our data, then the more stability and the more capability we find just to be who we are. But who we are is not a set of descriptions. Who we are is the vastness of mind, the same intelligence that lights up all of the stars in the night sky, the same intelligence that we see all around us in nature this intelligence of the universe. This is actually who we are. This is what we're expressions of. And um, it's incredible to get to know that in the face of all data streams. So we learn so many things about what's going on. So to see for ourselves the nature of reality is really the most important place to be. So we can start with uh, a little experiment. Um, Social awkwardness. Let's try that one. Awkward pauses in conversations. So let's see how uncomfortable I can get. <coughs> It's nothing going on. It's amazing though what we've learned. We've learned that in a conversation we need to fill the space. That there's a pause in a conversation, that's, that's, that's awkward, that's wrong. And that urge to say something, that urge to fill the space can be like... Uh, oh, it can just feel like uh, a fire, it can feel like this tingling that we have to respond to. So the practice here rather than responding in an automatic or a reactive way to what we're thinking, feeling or sensing, instead for a short moment we just rest naturally and allow everything to be as it is. And we do that just by stopping the descriptions, just by resting naturally, allowing the flow of data just to be as it is. It's already flowing on by. We don't need to do anything for that to be the case that the self-release of the here and now is guaranteed. We can't hold any experience in place. We can't fix a thought in place. So rather than even attempting to do that, we just relax completely and allow everything to be as it is. And what opens up in that, rather than collapsing into the descriptions and trying to do something with them, when we allow our intelligence to open, then naturally we're aligned with this vastness of mind with this capacity to see everything as it is. Not through the filter of descriptions that we've learned along the way, but actually from the vastness of mind that sees everything as it is, clearly, brightly, 
with a capacity to know what will be of most benefit. Because the perspective is one of complete indivisibility. Everything is included. When we stop the game of trying to indulge some thoughts or emotions or experiences, avoid others, or replace some, so perhaps if we have an unpleasant thought or feeling, we try and change that into a more pleasant one. If we just stop that game for a short moment and relax completely, mind naturally opens up. Because it is the collapsing into the data, into the descriptions, that means that we forget to notice or acknowledge this vastness of mind that contains all of these descriptions, and yet is not affected or bound or limited by any of them. And this is what we get to know about ourselves, what is most fundamental, what is most primary, what we can actually rely on. The data are always changing, your experience is always changing. Your descriptions about yourself, your descriptions about other people, your descriptions about your life. One day you wake up and you love your life and the next day you wake up and it all seems completely pointless. And yet nothing has changed. So the descriptions are changing and we can't rely on them. When we begin to recognize the openness of intelligence that is the basis of all of those descriptions, no matter how we describe them, no matter what the label is, no matter what the data stream happens to be, then we discover what is completely dependable in our own experience, in a very practical, everyday way. And so this practice of short moments, which might seem, um, might seem too simple, or it might seem... Um, too difficult or all kinds of things. It's so simple. All we do is for short moments repeated many times, stop describing, relax mind and body, rest naturally and notice this vastness of mind. And all we need to do is notice it because it's always there. It's like the vastness of sky. It may be during our day we're caught up with all kinds of things that are going on for us, all kinds of dramas and descriptions and interactions and memories. But the vastness of sky is always there. It never goes anywhere. Just every now and again we look up and notice it. So this is exactly the same with the recognition of the openness of your intelligence. Your mind, your intelligence is pouring forth data. Pouring forth this richness of experience. So we don't need to do anything, but when we relax and allow that display to be as it is, the descriptions and our capacity to relate to them in a way that is of benefit to ourselves and others is found to be innate. This relaxed, potent way of being in the world is actually completely natural. This is the way that um, I had always wanted to live. I would always wanted to live in a way that I felt comfortable with myself, I felt comfortable with other people, um, I didn't feel a victim to circumstances, I felt an increasing sense of my own capacity to contribute in life, um, I understood the purpose of being here, I understood in a very real way exactly in a moment to moment basis how I could proceed in a way in life that was powerful, loving, compassionate and understood exactly what was going on. I'd always wanted that but I had no real idea that it was possible. And what I've discovered in this training is that it's completely innate. This is who I've been all along. It was simply this training in focusing on the data, focusing in on the descriptions, the experiences, the perceptions, making this fictitious world based on all of these ever-changing ideas and then trying to navigate through life in that way. And it was always a challenge. It was always confusing. The descriptions are always changing. When I started to rely and recognize open intelligence as the basis of those descriptions, inclusive of all those descriptions, impossible to separate out any of the descriptions from open intelligence. Like we can't separate out the sky from the color blue, or the color blue from the sky completely inseparable, then that changed everything. This one simple use in the change of the mind reveals its perfection. 
mind is already completely at ease, completely relaxed, in the same way that nature itself is completely relaxed, completely at ease. And yet at the same time it's dynamic, pouring forth all of your experience. So when you align that experience with the intelligence of the universe, with the open intelligence that is the basis of that experience, then you align with the benefit of all. This is actually what the creativity of our mind is designed to, to be used for. We can use our mind and our incredible capacity, incredible creativity in so many different ways. But when we recognize open intelligence and that same creativity is pouring forth for the benefit of all, we recognize that that is actually the nature of our data. So it doesn't matter whether we think we have a busy mind or a quiet mind. Both of those descriptions or experiences appear within the same vast expanse. They're both points of light within this vastness of the night sky. So we can simply relax and allow ourselves to be as we are, one short moment at a time. And in the Balanced View training what you'll find is a support network that simply supports and empowers and encourages you to return to open intelligence, to confirm open intelligence as the basis of your experience. And that's all you'll find here. This complete confirmation as to the nature of reality, as to the nature of your intelligence, as your capacity to be of great benefit to yourself and other people in a really down-to-earth practical way, not as some kind of vague philosophy, but in your everyday relating with people that open-heartedness that we all know, that capacity to relate with warmth and love and, and in a powerful way. It's not about becoming passive or becoming a doormat. We find this naturally balanced view that is the nature of our minds, inclusive of all of our data. And it's only by recognizing that all of the data are included that we can have this balanced perspective. Whilst there's still some things that we're trying to push away, you know, negative thoughts and emotions, or there's some things we're trying to avoid because we don't like experiencing them, like social anxiety, then it is impossible to recognize this inclusive, all-inclusive nature, all-pervasive nature of open intelligence. Because when we're pushing away a certain data stream, what we're actually saying is this is not open intelligence. When we're avoiding a relationship with someone, what we're actually saying is the things that I think and feel in this relationship are not open intelligence. So one short moment at a time, we get to discover for ourselves whether that current moment perception can be found to have a nature separate or apart from open intelligence by encountering it directly whilst maintaining complete perceptual openness. This is where we get to know the nature of reality for ourselves in a really direct way, in a really personal way, with all the things that we think and feel about ourselves and other people in the world. One star at a time, we get to recognize the vastness of sky, the vastness of mind. And from there, life becomes easy because we see everything for what it really is. Not just all of these points of light, these dots, these... Um, it's like the... Um, do you remember when you were a child? Well, I, I had these, those, those dot to dot paintings where you had a painting and you had all of the dots on it and they all had numbers. And, um, and as you followed the correct numbers, then you'd end up with a picture of something. But what we're actually doing is we've got this picture with all of the dots on, but we haven't got any numbers. So what we're doing is just drawing lines between these dots, hoping that somehow this picture will emerge. And actually all that ends up is this complete mess. <laughs> when we recognize the inseparability of all of that experience, of all of the dots in the night sky, as the night sky itself, then we're opening up to the nature of reality. We're including everything that we think and feel within this vast expanse, within this permission field. We can be ourselves as we are. This is the personal nature of this. So test it out for yourself. One short moment at a time, what happens when you stop describing and allow everything to be as it is?
what happens? It's so amazing to discover this. You discover your capacity as a human being. You discover the ease in life. You discover that actually there's nothing you need to be afraid of anymore. And by repeating these short moments, you gain confidence, you gain assurance that you can do that, and you see for yourself the benefits and the results of testing that, of allowing your intelligence to naturally open. And everything that we offer here simply supports that instinctive recognition.